So if you do something like me where I create thumbnails, one of the best tools out there is Photoshop CC. And I have that, but it's super expensive or it's a monthly cost and you kind of don't want that. And the reason why I use Photoshop is because I remove backgrounds of images and then replace them with something else. Now there's a new website out which is gonna let you remove the background of pretty much any subject, okay? So you can do this if you wanna do memes, if you wanna do a collage of pictures with different backgrounds for your family and friends and create some awesome images. And it's all software driven, it's absolutely amazing. It's a one click process and it is super simple. I'll show you what you'd need to do in Photoshop to actually get this effect. And then I'll show you how effective it is actually just using the web browser to be able to do this. And you can download the images after, you can see some before and after pictures. So what we do now, we just go over, we grab a few pictures off the infamous Google images and then stick them into this little machine and then see what kind of results we get. And then I'll show you how much of a pain it can be in Photoshop if you was to do this actually all manually. So it's gonna show you how good this website really is. So what we do first is jump into Photoshop CC. As you can see, this should be quite easy because it has quite a neutral background, which is a contrasting color to the actual portrait itself. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can try for the magic wand, which is tries to pick out best it can exactly the area. Now that seemed pretty good. So if we do Command J, Command whatever, we can then remove the background like that. And as you can see, it, it looks okay. It's, it's not done too bad, to be honest. You can see we'd probably need to feather this. Now that that wasn't too bad. I don't know why I've just done that. Um, but that, that was actually pretty good for, you know, a rough cutaway from the background. <clears throat> but another way to also do it, if we just deselect this, you can actually do it by manually going around the actual person. So you could do it like this if you wanted. It's easier if you had a pen on a board and then you could cut all around it and then we'll just go back to the end. You get the running little ants. We'll do Command J and then there we have an even rougher, crappy removal of the background. Now, if the background was a bit more busy, it would be a bit harder to automatically do this by just the use of this. But remember, if you are using Photoshop, there are other little uh, tools you can use to feather the radius of the pixel. So you can do ten, so it push them out a little bit. And there's other little ways. But this is all too complicated, too annoying to get you know good results quickly from. So. The website actually is simply called, if we go over to Safari, as you can see, this is where I've been grabbing some images from. If we go over to remove.bg, and here we go. You can either do it via URL or you can select a photo. So we're gonna select a photo and we're gonna select the same photo and we're gonna see the actual um, results that we get. So yes, standard storefront, verify, yes, yes, yes. We'll verify, there we go, original image and how long did that take? So if we just download this image now, we'll take a look at it and you can see what type of job it's done. It's missed a little bit there, but remember this is AI driven. This is absolutely fantastic. So if we open this up, you can see it's actually done a good job. Missing a bit there, but it's a great place to start, isn't it? So how simple is it to remove the background? That took about half a second to do. Now we could import this into Photoshop and then tweak around with some stuff, but what we do now, we just get rid of these and we do something with a bit more, with a bit more of in the background. So I'm just gonna import this picture. I'll just do it roughly. Now, if I go into that magic wand again, and I'm gonna, this is gonna turn out very awful. Now the AI driven software on remove.bg would have already done it. So this, this is already turning into a bit of a pain. So do you know what? We're not even gonna try. We'll go over to remove BG and see what type of results this is gonna get us here. So we select the photo again, we'll look for the woman, we'll obviously do the verifying, we'll do some buses, I think that's all, oh, one more bus, and we'll verify, then it's gonna do it, boom, look at that. We'll download that image, we'll open it up, and we'll see that we didn't even give it a go on, on here because it was just too much of a pain in the ass. 
So if we open this up, you can actually see it's even got the hair from around, like the little wispy hairs from around here as well. And it's done really well around the contours of the face and all over the hair. So once again, if you wanted to tweak that, you could bring it into Photoshop and then obviously tweak it a little bit more or just simply add another background. So what we can do here, bring in our new face. There we go, look at that. And it's as simple as if you wanted to, you could stick anything just behind it. You just literally make sure that the other layer is underneath that main image, which has had the background removed. And then there you go. Just play around with it. Obviously, this is just a Photoshop PNG. And there you go. And that's how you do it. So simple. Whoever's created remove.bg is a ledge. Well done. Congratulations. And it shows you the power of AI.